have you seen my wallet? Son, have you seen my wallet? Yeah, come on. All right, I spy. Great idea. By playing I spy for things like shapes, numbers, even rhymes, a child starts to grasp the basic concepts of math, literacy, and art to help on their path to becoming active learners and responsible grown-ups. But wait, there's more. You will also have turned a grown-up chore into a fun activity for everyone. Well, not much longer. Hey. What's a bird do? Great idea. You just thought of another way to keep the child you care for learning. Give me duck, give me duck. Waiting can be hard for children, so playing a movement game during waits can help them use their energy and promotes body awareness. But wait, there's more. You also turned a grown-up chore into a fun activity for everyone. Jump catch it! Building blocks. To us, they're just another toy. But for a child who's always learning, they're much more than that. They're a classroom. The perfect objects for teaching early math and art skills. They can be built into castles or counted and sorted. They can become cars or airplanes or people or just about anything. Because sometimes the less a toy does, the more your child is able to use and develop their imagination. That's a truck, I think, huh? Got a truck behind the taxi cab? Here, let me see, you wanna do one too? Here, follow me. My child is always learning, so I'm always looking for ways to teach them. Oh, look at that. Wow, that looks really good on you. While playing dress up in the mirror may not always seem like a life-changing experience to us, this kind of play teaches a toddler tools like doing things for themselves and distinguishing themselves from others. Are you going to feed your baby? While pretending to give a baby doll a bottle may not always seem like a big moment in a toddler's life, pretending and imitating caregiver relationships teaches creativity and helps them connect to others. 